I I totally I totally got my uh, my my mouse working. What do you mean? I'm very sorry for that. I open up uh, my PNG program, just boom, my settings are reset. It <laughs> it doesn't go well for me. Uh, <laughs> um, so yes, hello. I am Abram. I am your half frog librarian. No, my model isn't actually properly done. Whatever gave you that idea? <laughs> and I think it's gonna be a shorter stream for today, because Wednesday. Uh, so we'll play through my sticker book. There are no Steam achievements. And then we might actually go back to the ducks. Yeah, play the duck game, duck racing. Well, there's a couple other things that we could do. So we'll, we'll see what my mood is. I actually need to open up my stream on my phone. Uh, uh, I, I definitely know what I am doing at any given time. What do you mean? Definitely. Oh, that's... That's not what I wanted to do. That is what I wanted to do. Man, I am... I am great. And oh! I can put people in timeout length now. That's great. That's great. One, one second, just gotta... I'm still alive. Uh, I could have said unfortunately, but I'm not. So, game. Game time. It is going to be so loud. I, I have boy muted for the desktop. Uh, turn it down so it's quiet. Hopefully. Uh, talking, talking, yay! <laughs> oh boy. You'd think, you know what, maybe, maybe by like my five, uh, 500th stream, I will be able to get past a singular sentence. Sentence? Without scuff. Okay, well. Let's start. It's red. My room, says the happy child. My glittery sticker that will n leave glitter everywhere and it will never come out of the carpet, says the mother. Oh, you want water? Sad. Go dehydrate. I, I'm kind of thirsty. Wait. Wait, there's a cutscene. I can't. Holy shit. 
It's, it's the monster under the bed. Yeah. I, I was terrified for like years of going into my parents' room because... Oh, oh god, that glitter. It's terrifying, I can feel it. The monster was afraid of light! That's great, bro. Uh, I was terrified of going into my parents' room because they were in the basement. And, like, I, I grew up watching X-Files. Uh, I'm still a major coward, though, so... Yeah. I... <laughs> things didn't go so well there. Uh... <laughs> wait. Okay, my phone's mildly caught up, so one second. Okay, theoretically, theoretically, the music should be a little bit more audible. Don't take my word for it. I am like, I already have tinnitus, it's fine. But anyways, continuing on. Um. Beer. Beer. I can jump. Oh my god, I know. I got... I got the memo, bro. Wait. Um... I I collected sticker. Imagine that, bro. What does this one say? Longing. Damn. Aren't you a bit young? It's a bird. That is not a bird. Okay, wait, so it wants... Okay, apparently I cannot do that. Uh... I... I have killed the child. I swear I didn't do it intentionally. Do I... Oh, do I need to open the window first? Like, just kind of... The answer was no. No, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. I... I put this... I know this is technically a horror game. And I know that I put it 
in the um, puzzle section on my Steam because I have it kind of divided up. And it's like, wow, why did I do that when this is a horror game? I think this is why. <laughs> oh, no. I found a boy. I, I wanna. I wanna water the plant, dude. What do I do? It makes a nice sound when click though. Listen, man, if I had known it would be this dangerous to get some goddamn water. Okay, shut up, shut up. Um. Ah. Uh, so, I might not be smart. But. I don't, I don't think there's much else to it. Okay. Bird wants apple. If I do this, can I like, Oh, so it was a get you killed from the start kind of deal. Wow. Um, like that. A. And I'm bringing the stool with me. All right. See, see, I'm. Look at me. Ten out of ten. No, nobody has ever met a frog as smart as I. No stickers. No, no stick. No stick. Message. Oh. Okay, so the curtain's trying to kill me. Okay, so the painting's trying to kill me. How nice. Sup? Ah. Uh. Okay. So there's no notes. No. Okay, but it's only accessible after I go past there. Oh. Okay, so I need... Okay, now...
how How do I do this? Lady, help me. Miss? Miss? Oh my god, no! Wanna, wanna music note? Can you use this as a key? I cannot, in fact, use it as a key. Ow. Let me go. Um, see, I'm smart, okay? The smartest, even. Don't get killed by this guy. Key. Lock. Um. I'll be real, I'm not quite sure what that was supposed to do for me. Fuck. Uh. Okay, I at least have like some semblance of an idea now. Okay. A um, moon thing. Move you. Honestly, I forgot that that thing was going to show up again and I got scared. Okay, and then next part, pop, 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 pop. I don't need the heart. I accidentally took the heart. Um. Um, sup, dude? How are you? Uh, I don't know. Do I do I get it? Like, ah, my walked right into that one. Is it open now? No. Well, I'm confused. It's like I made. I made some semblance of progress. And. You've gotta be kidding me. That was. Literally, all I needed to do was walk. Ooh, I nearly avoided that one. Nice. Uh oh. 
Bro just vanished. That's gonna be me right at the end of stream. I am not gonna post anything else. Hey, we made it to the kitchen. I got myself some water. I will actually wait. Cutscene. You watch that, I do need to get myself something to drink. how long that was supposed to take me. I think it said it was like 10 minutes of playtime. It's it's been close to 20. Oh god. I am not quick. I am not quick. That was kind of sweet though. You know? Like did it just a cute, just a little girl, doing little girl things. Um, and yeah, now to figure out what to play. Uh, I could do, well, I could do Ducks and Drive. Um, video, beauty. I could do Genshin, I could do Lit, I could do Dagon, or I could just play Puzzle. I think we all know which one I just opened up. Puzzle time! Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. Puzzle, puzzle. I don't think. Ah. Uh, let's see. I don't think it likes to capture this. So... That? Yeah, there it is. There's also... Really loud music. Or it's loud for me. <laughs> but everybody loves a good old puzzle game. So, I, th I think I'll do this one. With 440 pieces. Oh god. Okay, um. What they say? Cry. <laughs> okay. Middle. Edge. That's a corner. Middle. 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 I like to sort. Sorting's the best. Uh. Uh. I should actually probably retitle my stream right now. Or at least do some kind of status update, but no. Oh, uh, wait, wait, where'd my puzzle pe Puzzle? Peace. Peace. Peace and love on planet Earth. I haven't actually seen like Steven Universe or like Gravity Falls or anything, and people keep telling me to do it. I probably should. Like I've heard they're good. For the most part, though, um, I just watch uh, romance animes and then get really pissed about the slow burn. Like, I am, I'm watching Sasaki and Miano right now. Don't, 
don't correct my pronunciation. Actually, you should, but like, don't. <laughs> um, and I'm on episode, I just finished episode six, right? And oh my god. I mean, at least, at least Miano's putting thought into it. Spoilers, by the way. Spoiler. I probably won't actually spoil much. But like, the pining from Sasaki has gotten too intense, bro. Too intense. It's like, haha, funny, funny anime, funny anime with gay people. No. No. This man is so completely head over heels. I am in physical pain. And. Ooh. I, I watch it for a bit at night. And without fail, my parents will just hear me going, Oh my god, you idiots! You idiots! My poor dog, Daisy, has walked in a couple times. And she's get, just got in her face all, like, smooshed and aggressive petting while I just start ranting. <sighs> so, in general, don't put me in. Uh... Me and romance animes are a bad pairing. It's... I might have a problem. <laughs> I might have several problems, even. But it's really good. It's really good. I definitely recommend that you watch it. Because, oh my god. Just more. It's so sweet, though. I, I can't even be properly mad because they're literally just sweet. Okay, they they talk about their damn BL manga. And Sasaki is just there because he's like, oh shit, I like this guy. I'm just gonna learn more about his interests. And also he likes some of the of manga. But it's just like, oh my god, if these idiots don't get their act together. And I mean, like, the quiet confession, moi, it actually kind of reminded me almost of, um, Oramiya. Um, with that, like, sick confession scene. And I don't mean sick as in cool, I mean sick as she was, she was almost knocked out, bro. But... That, that was sweet. I enjoyed Horror Mia with um, none of the mental pain and torment that I am currently experiencing with Sasaki and Miano. It, ooh, it's a problem. <laughs> uh, I wonder, I kind of wonder what the speedrun record for my sticker book is. There's, there's got to be a speedrunning community for it. There's a speedrunning community for everything. I actually tried to be a Minecraft speedrunner for a bit. I have, Don't ask me to speedrun Minecraft. I am like one of the worst Minecraft players you will ever see. Well, not quite. Worst Minecraft player who actually knows how the game works kind of thing. Although game, how the game works is kind of a loose definition. Because, um, yikes. You've never seen somebody struggle until you watch me. <laughs> oh, maybe I should play some Minecraft sometime. In reality, I actually need to finish rigging my model and crying over webcam software because for some reason live 2d doesn't want to accept my doggo live 2d doesn't want to accept um cameras i have even one that i uh, i know works i know works for sure so I'm kind of stuck in a stalemate of, god damn it, please, 
just let me use you. And, <laughs> no. I think I might try just getting an iPhone refurbished or something, or just, like, briefly stealing one of my friends, get them over here and steal to see if it actually works with that. Because if it does, then I'm just gonna get myself, like, a cheap used one that supports um, AR core, which is what phones need in order to, um, uh, properly use Live 2D. And, like, I, I would use my own phone, but it's, it's Samsung and its model is not supported. <laughs> um, which means that I, well... I can, uh, I can use it in, like, on it by itself, but I can't actually broadcast it, because it won't connect. And I just heard something in the kitchen, so I have to go make sure that it's not a cat. Yeah, it, it was just the dogs. <laughs> uh, it was the puppies. They are currently not impressed. I don't quite know what I want, but I think it is my mother. And... God damn it. And we have a visitor! It's the cat. That's trying to repent because he was trying to get into the garbage again. Isn't that right, Oscar? Yeah. 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 Go lay down on my chair. That you seem to have claimed for yourself. Also, I'm getting you a little sister soon. 
you're going to have a house cat just like you. You're going to be so mad. You're going to be very happy once you realize that you have another cuddle buddy, aren't you? Yes, because you're, you're a little menace. It requires love and attention at every minute of the day. Well. Also, I hope um, I'm having less of a problem with like the the frames today and like the uh, dropping everything. I know I'm down like a good 10% because I lowered my bit rate. Um, so hopefully that does something. To be honest, I'm not quite sure what it would do. Uh, <laughs> but And much to the cat's dislike. That is my- Who said I was done with that? What if I was going to have another bowl of cereal, you bastard? Hi, yes. Welcome to my stream, where you get to hear a cat enjoy himself. And steal my bowl, regardless of any plans I may or may not have had. Isn't that right, Oscar? I... I can't actually be mad at him, he's too cute. He's this orange cabbie. We... my, my mom... Uh... Was trimming. He worked at a, as a farrier for a bit. And she was... Trimming a horse, and the people with the horses were like, Oh, God. I We think our cat just got crushed under a cinder block. And she was like, Oh, I also work part-time at a vet. I can take him there. And apparently we just kept the cat. <laughs> ah, he is so spoiled. So spoiled. And there's another kitty here, too. Oh, no, she's... Leaving. Well. <laughs> oh, well. It's fine. Lucy doesn't like anyone. Ugh. I have so many pieces to sort. That is not... Ow. Oscar? Dear, that is my screen so unfortunately i am going to have to ask you to move please you're not moving are you yeah so you're just a little no good bastard oh nope maybe you are leaving and Okay, yeah, I'm being abandoned. <laughs> oh boy. Cats. Fickle little things. Love them though. Love them. Top 10. Top 10 creature. Oh my god. Wait. Palace's cats. Palace's cats. They are adorable. They can't do shit. But they're... They're adorable, and I love them, and I just, every time I see, like, a picture or a video of one, I just want to go, and I want to run my fingers through its, like, fur and just hug it. It's like a, oh my god, they are just mm, fuzzy little things. I, I might have a soft spot for things that are considered cute. Um... Is defamation <laughs> defamation against myself I am the one defaming me is that even a word defaming I don't I don't think it is 
I'm not I'm not quite sure what term it would be, but I'm fairly certain it's not that. Oh well. <laughs> I I finished my English classes like a year ago. I'm fine. I say. These three pieces are like practically identical. Jesus, okay. That's gonna I just know that it's gonna piss me off. Because puzzles are fun for the entire family. I say, I actually have a lot of puzzles. I have a, I have like this panoramic, panoramic, pat, pat, really long, long, si sideways long, horizontal landscape, panoramic, panoramic. Oh boy, I have this really, uh, I have this panoramic, uh, puzzle that I haven't put together yet, as well as a, uh, puzzle of, I believe it's some orcas, and, uh, one of a famous painting, one of my mom's favorites, actually, The Kiss. I don't remember who painted it. It's right over there. I could go check, but I am lazy. Lazy. Whoop. Whoop. All right. So. I just love when I'm sorting something and it's like, hey. Hey. You're probably going to run out of room. And like, I don't, I don't want to zoom out any more than I currently am. Although, I did just realize that the display capture dimensions are really messed up. That's... That's kind of better, I guess. We're going to pretend like that didn't happen. <laughs> Uh, I'm so distracted by the cat and and sorting and the noises. I think the noises are the best part of this one. Um, if there's if there's any puzzle game that I actually get like a DLC for, which I usually don't, I usually just finish what's available and then move on. Um, it's probably gonna be this one because I really like it. It's very nice. It goes clicky. Clicky clack. Clickety clackety strickety strockety. Uh, I don't know. I've also been thinking of doing like a language learning stream sometime. Um, I mean, I found out that I actually have Friday free, so I might do an impromptu stream then. Um, depending on how I'm feeling after Thursday, cause a big motivator for me about, um, streaming as like a hobby is that I, my dogs, I, um, can take care of myself and like my physical energy levels. Um, well, just having fun, playing games, um, pretending like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, but hey, fact of the matter is I enjoy it. That is the wrong piece. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. It's uh, it's up to whims. It's up to my sense of whimsy, whimsy and passion. Um, do I even have one of those? Debatable. Oh my god, my so someone's someone's gonna be on me about that one. What do you mean you don't have passion and whimsy? You're you're literally an 
artist, Abram. Come on, come on, Rem. Look at you. You literally just sat down and... ...managed to actually make something look halfway decent out of a medium you don't really know. Like... I can just see my dog. Well, I can't see her. I have a little cat door in my door. Um... And she's there! And my phone also wants to update. But... Screw them. <laughs> Screw them. No, no. The, the phone. The phone. Um... It, it can update later when I go to bed. Because... Yeah. No. No. You, you want to update? How... How dare you do such a, a disrespectful thing in my house. Updates. That sounds like self-care. That is a joke. Please take care of yourself. Please. Pretty please. Pretty please, with a not-poisonous cherry on top. No, I- I like saying that as a way to, like, go, ha ha ha, don't you wanna help, help me out here? But at the same time, like, the implication there is that it's like a maraschino, maraschino cherry or something, and I hate those. Hate them. Hate them. I will, I will tolerate them if they're in baking, like something that my mom baked, like she made herself a black forest cake for uh, her birthday, and I ate it, because I wasn't gonna complain about the cake, <laughs> but I'm, ooh, ooh, nah -huh. Don't give me anything with mashed, you know, shit, cherries on it. Or anything edible. I can- I can appreciate the design aspect of them, but if, at the same time, every time, like, I see a food item with them, I just cringe in distaste. It's... Life is rough. Life is rough when you don't like che- <laughs> the specific type of cherry. Uh, puzzle, puzzle piece, puzzle piece. Am I done yet? <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. I'm very clearly not done. Just, just look at this. Uh, uh, puzzle piece. I'm probably just kind of start doing this now. Da, da. Okay, you are an edge piece. Get out of here. We we don't support emos in this economy. That is also a joke. Don't. Nobody take that out of context. Mostly... Because, like... Half of my friends are emo and or goth. I myself am not emo or goth. Uh... I, I just wear brown. <laughs> you got black, you got black, you got black. You got green, and then you got, uh, rem. Just out here with the brown. 
the brown. It's because I like uh, academic styles. If I'm sure nobody could tell that I do such a thing. I mean, <laughs> if I just pulled up the uh, an image of the my uh, VTuber model, I think uh, there there's some similarities. <laughs> Uh, okay. Come on. I know one of- I know some of you are edgy little things. Mm. Uh, yeah. And then you, and then... Puzzles. The most frustrating part is sorting because if you don't sort them right, then you're going to be like screwed when it comes time to actually put it together. Because then you're like, where where the hell is my final edge piece? Meanwhile, your final edge piece is enjoying a vacation in like the middle of every other puzzle piece, just like at a grave or something and you're having a mental breakdown <laughs> ah life okay you're an edge piece you're not an edge piece you're an edge piece you're not an edge piece uh edge Oh, there's that final corner. Uh, uh, da, da. edgy, edgy, edgy. Any more edgy pieces? Edgy. Okay. I am positioning the corner pieces. <laughs> Screw up. <laughs> I I already sorted them. Don't do this to me. Okay, so, start with you. You are obviously a no-go. You? Hey. Hey. Um, where is the other? You? Oh, no, you're too bright. You're too bright. Uh, I think the theme of these puzzles is like steampunk or something. Uh, I don't know, but my mom is the one who's into steampunk, not me. I know exactly nothing about it. Hi. Hi, Lucy. Yes, hi, sweetie. Meow. Wow. That, that's just the dog. You don't need to act like, oh, that's, um, Lucy? Lu Lucy, please, please get out of hunting position. That, that is just Daisy. Lucy? Lucy. Don't, don't do it. D thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, Oscar kind of already licked out that bowl there, sweetie. <laughs> yeah. I love when things match. I love when things go quick. The hell are you doing? That? Very nice. They make they make a nice sound. They won't. 
Lucy. What's wrong? What's wrong? I am not mentally stable. Yeah. Well, that is quite certainly a cat in the way of my screen. Lucy, please. I love you. You're very soft, but I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, no. Oh, that doesn't help. That, that... Vision was overrated anyway. Uh, I love cats. Sometimes. Once in a blue moon. Occasionally, you know? Um, every, every like... Five times a month, maybe. <laughs> ah, there it is. There's that good old point. And then there's the dog. <laughs> uh, Quomp. That's not the sound it makes. What the? Quomp. Chomp. Oh. Uh, so somebody take my ability to make sounds away from me because apparently I cannot do it properly. What are you up to? Uh, incorrectly mimicking sounds. Again? Come on, man. I thought we got you off of this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It keeps coming back. Uh... Uh... Da, 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 da. Uh, you probably go up here. Yeah. yeah. So get it. Lucy, please get away from my microphone. Scratch that, actually. Lucy, please stop staring towards the, the door where the dog is like you're about to murder her. It would actually be greatly appreciated. Lucy? You are not stopping. My dear. C come here. I know. Here, I shall simply hold you while you complain. There you go. I am now... I now only have use of one arm. This is fine. Um... Two, and then... Who else was supposed to be here? Uh-oh. Oh, wait, there it is. Aside! I have a side. Ba -ba -da -da. I'm officially no longer a circle. And... I need to let the dog in. I'm sorry. Oh. It's just... Daisy, Lucy, I know you don't like her, but give her a break. Oh, no. Oh, are... Apparently you're just gonna settle down on my lap instead. Okay. Well. There is now a nice weight on my lap. I would like to say it, it, the dog doesn't like the weight. Uh, let's collect all the white pieces. Uh, look at me go. I'm great at this.
<laughs> I'm like, go like, oh yeah, right there. Right there. I'm great at puzzles. <laughs> oh, hey. And we've only managed a 2.2% rate of dropped frames. I'm... I need to get on with it. I'm... I'm about to lose my trademark. If, if I don't... If I don't boost it, what am I- what else am I going to do? Have- have a stable stream? <laughs> Can't believe that. Unthinkable. Madness, even. Okay, you probably go there. Um, Top edges. Like you. And your one. A okay, you. You go up top. Somewhere. Probably here. Hey, I'm I'm so good at this. I'm acting like someone who's never done a puzzle ever in their life uh okay and do you connect you don't connect well now i'm just sad i thought i thought you two could have had something here man Oh, well, it's very obviously that one. <laughs> uh, you know, the, the one that literally has a piece of whatnot. Oh, right, I'm missing, what, one piece? So is Luffy. But, um, tsh. Uh, somebody needs to ban me from, like, really shitty jokes. Toronto. All right, I now have a right angle. I have no follow-up statement to that. <laughs> oh God. Uh, some spare yourselves. <laughs> spare yourselves before it's too late. Are uh, you? <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, do you? Woo! Do you? They match! I'm so good at this. No, Nobody can tell me otherwise. Top 10. Best puzzle person around. I say, totally making things up. Uh, oh wait, probably you, huh? Yeah. And then, can I throw you right here? I can! I now have two right angles. Wow. I almost said three. Uh, and then I remembered that I'm terrible at math and should not be making any references to any sort of math-related pursuit. It, it's not good. It's not good. Surely this one knows how to do math. No. I, I'm not quite sure what I can do, because I can't drive and I can't do math. So I, I do not fit a single stereotype well. Stereotype? 
in this economy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, you. Hey. Yeah, you. I'm so good at this. There, or you go. You go there! Why was I so happy about that? It's like, what? Oh, there we go! I... I still have two right corners. I, I have... I have three... 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 Three lines. No, no more right corners. My... Right corner privileges have been revoked. Or something. I don't know. Officer, why are you arresting me? I'm afraid. You made a right corner without the correct permits. Officer, please. I was just trying to feed my family. No. To jail with ye. Okay, and then, and then, and then. Hell yeah. Probably connects to this one then. I, I'm almost done with the framework. I love being successful. That was not successful. That was also not successful. That's the piece I might have been looking for. I... Um... Oh boy. <laughs> I love being successful and I say and then immediately fail. Wait, what? Which? You? Gotta be you. Yay! And then you? And then... A you? Uh, you have a little bit of that kind of bronze? No, apparently you don't. It's you! I am... Oh, I guess... I guess that's... I... I don't know my colors, to be honest. Colors are overrated as hell. Who who needs colors when yeah, yeah I need colors. <laughs> it's me. I'm the one. Uh Okay, so, now for chaos. Uh, blue? 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 Her disappointment. <laughs> Poor puzzle piece is just trying its best and I'm here like, You can't even do anything. How dare you. Uh, okay, you. You? You. I trusted you. I put my complete and entire trust in you that you would finally, finally help me. What do you do? You betray me. Like I am worth nothing. I I thought we had a bond, man. How could you? How could you do this to me? Oh boy, I... I... Maybe... I bet you've just booked another appointment with my therapist. I probably need it. 
I mean, look at me. VTuber fan. Not, I'm not just a VTuber fan. I, I literally have a model ready. Well, not quite ready. Ready, readiness is a construct and I fail to meet it entirely. See, why waste your time worrying when you can simply Um I was going somewhere with that. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Why waste your time worrying when you can simply jump straight in with an and and ignore all of your existential dread about the oncoming situation? Nothing bad can ever happen. Um I feel like that's something that I will come back to bite me. Haha, <laughs> how are you? Mm. Oh, where's my blue? Ta -da! Blue. Blue. Blue? Blue. It's a color, all right. Love colors. So slay. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, if I'm being entirely honest. I'm just kind of letting the words flow through my mouth. It's probably not a good idea. Did I just exit the game? Yes. Uh, wait. You don't need... <laughs> the only thing on my home screen is... Oh, God. Everything. My home screen just has a lot of... Nonsense, I guess? Oh, that's right. Venti and, um... Rio Thesley are now available. Uh, let's play some Genshin. Genshin. I am purposefully trying to not look behind me. Um... Mainly because I do not believe it is safe. Ghost eye capture. Hello? My good sir, I am, I'm having troubles. What's this? Microsoft Media, okay, no, that, that's not it. Oh boy. Um, and Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to parts of the stream and I'm just gonna be like What the hell is wrong with me? Why didn't I realize that X, X, and X were problems? I have never claimed to um be good at life. Let's go 
for you. Hey, are you? You're not quote unquote working, dude. Oh god. Um settings. Things are okay. You you get to see my entire screen again. I I don't want to deal with that, bro. And yes, I haven't completed the quests. What of it? Quests are for losers, and actually, uh, crit rate, base attack. Uh, okay, don't care. Uh, uh, too many words. <laughs> there are too many words in that. Oh my god. I, no, mm -mm. no reading. Don't read. Reading's for losers. <laughs> Oop. I just realized it's probably just like silence. Uh, that is because my audio is. Well, it should be better. Like, like my back screen. Well, things are going. I really need to look up that error. Wait, let me... Let me write it down! Do I have a frame of reference for the future? I don't need the schedule on my whiteboard anymore. I can just stare at my Twitter. Twitter. Oh. Well. Uh. And... Oh, that's not how you spell it. And... Dang. Over loaded. Consider the problem is that just cuts off right after consider. So it's just encoding overloaded. Consider. And I know just the tune to accompany them. Consider yourself. What are you doing in life? Why? are you doing in life? Why? Of all the things that that you could do, I'm turning it down to 0 0.8, maybe it'll help. Uh, medium. medium. Uh, okay. Like, SMA, better. I don't think that really does anything. Okay. How are we feeling about this? I'm just staring at my stream open on my phone in front of me. Uh... Oh no. I don't think this is working, boys. Oh god, okay, yeah. I'm not subjecting 
anybody to that. Not at all. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm not torturing people. Uh. To be honest. Uh. Uh, no, not, not lay. I think I want to turn that into a proper little series. Proper little series. Um, all by itself. With their own streams. I would really like to do that. Things are not working out right now. Things are not working out right now. I'm going to turn down the volume of the music. And I should actually probably organize my front screen. Let's run through day again. It's uh based on some thing a book of some kind i'm not too sure and and this one works <laughs> maybe maybe this is just the world's way of telling me hey you just stop playing genshin it's like bro sunk cost fallacy or something i just i spent too much time there's too much time invested to stop now oh my god that's loud Oh my god, I have notifications. I don't even remember my previous say, dude. Um, faithful interactive adaptation of HP Lovecraft's work focused on story and atmosphere. You will not find difficult choices, action sequences, or inventory management here. And movement is limited to progressing through locations along the plot. I am cool. writing this under an appreciable mental strain. Since by tonight I shall be no more. Isn't HP Lovecraft that racist guy? Wait, no. Oh, I should click. During the game, you will encounter interactive elements. Some of them will allow you to continue your journey. Others reveal interesting facts about the original short story, its historical background, and the author. Some of the trivia is hidden. In order to find these secrets, focus your eyes and look for the Elder Sign. Focusing. Focusing. Actually, I just want to judge the wallpaper. Is this room just full of mold? I think it is. That's that's either mold or something I don't want to know. Penniless, and at the end of my supply of the drug which alone makes life endurable, I can bear the torture no longer and shall cast myself from this garret window into the squalid street below. Well. Do not think from my slavery to Morphe that I am a weakling or a degenerate. Uh. No, no, you're, you're a good dude. Maybe don't cast when yourself you out read of- These hastily scrawled pages, you may guess. Though never fully realize why it is that I must have forgetfulness or death. Did you did you murder someone, bro? Morphe. If if you want to know more about that, uh, pause and read. I I don't think I can show that. It was in one of the most open and least frequented parts of the broad Pacific that the pack 
packet of which I was supercargo fell a victim to the German Sea Raider. Ah, uh, we have really good eyes. The Great War was then at its very beginning, and the ocean forces of the Hun had not completely sunk to their later degradation. This game is actually kind of, like, pretty. So that our vessel was made a legitimate prize, whilst we of her crew were treated with all the fairness and consideration due us as naval prisoners. Um. Not really my problem, dude. What's this? The Hun, Central Asia Nomad. I understood none of that. Brain empty. <sighs> so liberal, indeed, was the discipline of our captors that five days after we were taken, I managed to escape alone in a small boat with water and provisions for a good length of time. Damn. What? Congratulations. That doesn't sound good. When I finally found myself adrift and free. I had but little idea of my surroundings. Never a competent navigator, I could only guess vaguely by the sun and stars that I was somewhat south of the equator. Um, I wish I could help you, but I can't even find the North Star. Of the longitude, I knew nothing, and no island or coastline was in sight. All right, Rowan. I mm, bright no bright the weather kept fair mm. and for uncounted days I drifted aimlessly beneath the scorching sun waiting either for some passing ship or to be cast on the shores of some habitable land mm. staring directly into the sun Oh, bro's gonna... But neither ship nor land appeared, and I began to despair in my solitude upon the heaving vastness of unbroken blue. Mm -hmm. The change happened whilst I slept. Its details I shall never know, for my slumber, though troubled and dream infested, was continuous. Mm -hmm. Damn. That, when at that last sucks, I bro. Awoke, it was to discover myself half sucked into a slimy expanse of hellish black mire, which extended about me in monotonous undulations as far as I could see. And in which my boat lay grounded some distance away. Okay, dude. Well, why, why is that my problem? The one might well imagine that my first sensation would be of wonder at so prodigious and unexpected a transformation of scenery. I was in reality more horrified than astonished. Who wouldn't think that you'd be ter terrified upon seeing something like this? For there was in the air and in the rotting soil a sinister quality which chilled me to the very core. Oh, what are you talking about? There's absolutely nothing sinister here the region was putrid with the carcasses of decaying fish and of other less describable things which i saw protruding from the nasty mud of the unending plain perhaps i should not hope to convey in mere words the unutterable hideousness that can dwell in absolute silence and barren immensity there was nothing within hearing and nothing in sight save a vast reach of black slime Yet the very completeness of the stillness and the homogeneity of the landscape oppressed me with a nauseating fear. 
The sun was blazing down from a sky which seemed to me almost black in its cloudless cruel. Well. as though reflecting the inky marsh beneath my feet. As I crawled into the stranded boat, I realized that only one theory could explain my position. Through some unprecedented volcanic upheaval, a portion of the ocean floor must have been thrown to the surface, exposing regions for which innumerable millions of years had lain hidden under unfathomable watery depths. So great was the extent of the new land which had risen beneath me that I could not detect the faintest noise of the surging ocean, straining my ears as I might. Nor were there any sea fowl to prey upon the dead things. Quick pause. What? What is that? What is that? I. What For is that? For several hours, I sat thinking or brooding in the boat, which lay upon its side and afforded a slight shade as the sun moved across the heavens. Hello? As the day progressed, the ground lost some of its stickiness and seemed likely to dry sufficiently for traveling purposes in a short time. I, I don't like that these things are still alive. That night I slept but little, and the next day I made for myself a pack containing food and water, preparatory to an overland journey in search of the vanished sea and possible rescue. On the third morning, I found the soil dry enough to walk upon with ease. The odor of the fish was maddening, but I was too much concerned with graver things to mind so slight an evil, and set out boldly for an unknown goal. See, I would simply not. All day, I forged steadily westward, guided by a faraway hummock which rose higher than any other elevation on the rolling desert. Hey man, let's not. What is this? I, I don't know what that is. I don't want to. Although I kind of do. That night, I encamped, and on the following day still travelled toward the hummock, though that object seemed scarcely nearer than when I had first espied it. fourth evening, I attained the base of the mound, which turned out to be much higher than it had appeared from a distance. An intervening valley setting it out in sharper relief from the general surface. Too weary to ascend, I slept in the shadow of the hill. Well, that's not a good idea. I know not why my dreams were so wild that night. Well... My bets are on this guy already being dead. And fantastically gibbous moon had risen far above the eastern plain. I was awake in a cold perspiration, determined to sleep no more. Such visions as I had experienced were too much for me to endure again. And in the glow of the moon I saw how unwise I had been to travel by day. Without the glare of the parching sun, my journey would have cost me less energy. 
indeed, I now felt quite able to perform the ascent which had deterred me at sunset. Picking up my pack, I started for the crest of the eminence. I... I don't feel like I'm doing this. said that the unbroken monotony of the rolling plain was a source of vague horror to me. But I think my horror was greater when I gained the summit of the mound and looked down the other side into an immeasurable pit or canyon, whose black recesses the moon had not yet soared high enough to illumine. I felt myself on the edge of the world, peering over the rim into a fathomless chaos of eternal night. Well, you know what they say, take the plunge. Through my terror ran curious reminiscences of Paradise Lost and of Satan's hideous climb through the unfashioned realms of darkness. As the moon climbed higher in the sky, I began to see that the slopes of the valley were not quite so perpendicular as I had imagined. Ledges and outcroppings of rock afforded fairly easy footholds for a descent. Yes, go towards the deep canyon. Smart. Whilst after a drop of only a few hundred feet, the declivity became very gradual. I don't, I don't think I don't think we should be doing this. Urged on by an impulse which I cannot definitely analyze, I scrambled with difficulty down the rocks and stood on the gentler slope beneath, gazing into the Stygian deeps where no light had yet penetrated. All at once, my attention was captured by a vast and singular object on the opposite slope, which rose steeply about a hundred yards ahead of me, an object that gleamed whitely in the newly bestowed rays of the ascending moon. That that's just not. <laughs> that it was merely a gigantic piece of stone, I soon assured myself. But I was conscious of a distinct impression that its contour and position were not altogether the work of nature. Yeah, does this look like the work of nature to you? A closer scrutiny filled me with sensations I cannot express. For despite its enormous magnitude and its position in an abyss which had yawned at the bottom of the sea since the world was young, I perceived beyond a doubt that the strange object was a well-shaped monolith, whose massive bulk had known the workmanship and perhaps the worship of living and thinking creatures. Dazed and frightened, yet not without a certain thrill of the scientist's or archaeologist's delight, I examined my surroundings more closely. I would some why not just curl up into a ball and cry. The moon, now near the zenith, shone weirdly and vividly above the towering steeps that hemmed in the chasm and revealed the fact that a far-flung body of water flowed in both directions and almost left in the field. Across the chasm, the wavelets washed the base of the Cyclopean monolith, on whose surface I could now trace both inscriptions and crude sculptures. Bro, Bro's kind of ugly, not gonna lie. The writing was in a system of hieroglyphics unknown to me and unlike anything I had ever seen in books, consisting for the most part of conventionalized aquatic symbols such as fishes, eels, octopi, crustaceans, mollusks, whales, and the like. Several characters obviously represented marine things which are unknown to the modern world. My boy! Wait. 
the spiky boy. You can't actually see properly. This is like a spiky fish thing. But whose decomposing forms I had observed on the ocean risen plain. It was the pictorial carving, however, that did most to hold me spellbound. Plainly visible across the intervening water, on account of their enormous size, were an array of bas-reliefs whose subjects would have excited the envy of a Doré. I think that these things were supposed to depict men, at least a certain sort of men, though the creatures were shown disporting like fishes in the waters of some marine grotto, or paying homage at some monolithic shrine which appeared to be under the waves as well. Of their faces and forms I dare not speak in detail, for the mere remembrance makes me grow faint. Grotesque beyond the imagination of a Poe or a Bulwer. They were damnably human in general outline, despite webbed hands and feet, shockingly wide and flabby lip, glassy, bulging eyes, and other features less pleasant to recall. Curiously enough, they seem to have been chiseled badly out of proportion with their scenic background. For one of the creatures was shown in the act of killing a whale, represented as but little larger than himself. I remarked, as I say, their grotesqueness and strange size, but in a moment decided that they were merely the imaginary gods of some primitive fishing or seafaring tribe. You... You cannot see my disappointment right now. Some tribe whose last descendant had perished eras before the first ancestor of the Piltdown or Neanderthal man was born. Awestruck at this unexpected glimpse into a past beyond the conception of the most daring anthropologist, I stood musing whilst the moon cast queer reflections on the silent channel before me. <laughs> Weird. Me. I, I'm, I'm being reflected. Oh my god, the refractions, the light, the mirrors. Oh. Then, suddenly, I saw it. Where we stand. With only a slight churning to mark its rise to the surface, the thing slid into view above the dark waters. <laughs> it darted like a stupendous monster of nightmares to the monolith, about which it flung its gigantic scaly arms, the while it bowed its hideous head and gave vent to certain measured sounds. Sub. I think I went mad then. I think you are mad already. Of my frantic ascent of the slope and cliff, and of my delirious journey back to the stranded boat, I remember little. I sang a great deal, and laughed oddly when I was unable to sing. I think it got wetter. I have indistinct recollections of a great storm sometime after I reached the boat. At any rate, I know that I heard pearls of thunder and other tones which nature utters only in her wildest moments. That's great, bro. When I came out of the shadows, I was in the San Francisco hospital. Brought thither by the captain of the American ship which had picked up my boat in mid-ocean. In my delirium, I had said much, but found that my words had been given scant attention. I wonder why. Of any land upheaval in the Pacific, my rescuers knew nothing. Nor did I deem it necessary to insist upon a thing which I knew they could not believe.
Thank you, your stock of pack number four. Once I sought out a celebrated ethnologist and amused him with peculiar questions regarding the ancient Philistine legend of Dagon, the fish god. Soon perceiving that he was hopelessly conventional, I did not press my inquiries. This is a room, all right. Why are we just waiting? Just silence. Where's where's my narrator? It is at night, oh. especially when the moon is gibbous and waning, that I see the thing. I tried morphine, but the drug has given only transient surcease and has drawn me into its clutches as a hopeless slave. So now. I am to end it all, having written a full account for the information or the contemptuous amusement of my fellow men. Yeah, you're gonna get written off as a raving madman. ask myself if it could not all have been a pure phantasm, a mere freak of fever as I lay sun-stricken and raving in the open boat after my escape from the German man of war. This I ask myself, but ever does there come before me a hideously vivid vision in reply. I cannot think of the deep sea without shuddering at the nameless things that may at this very moment be crawling and floundering on its slimy bed. Worshipping their ancient stone idols and carving their own detestable likenesses on submarine obelisks of water-soaked granite, I dream of a day when they may rise above the billows to drag down into their reeking talons the remnants of puny, war-exhausted mankind. Of a day when the land shall sink and the dark ocean shall ascend amidst universal pandemonium. Slay. The end is near. I hear a noise at the door, as of some immense slippery body lumbering against it. It shall not find me. God, that hand! I think it found you. The window! it for a me yeah. I will actually be seeing you tomorrow bye bye